it's normal to, to, to suffer. So that's why you'll have a guy who will become obsessive. I'm going to be the greatest that's ever lived. Few, everybody, all men think this way. Few actually go for it. So I'm going to be the GOAT. So I'm going to outclass everybody. Yeah, but we all, everybody knows this. So you, you reach the top of the mountain. You live in your big lavish house, which you're, when she was young, maybe beautiful woman. Then you age, and then she gets bored with you, and she has sex with a pool boy. That's a classic story. Everybody here is, knows this. It's a porn movie, your classic porn movies. How come now you're the greatest? Like you're at the top of the top of the top in whatever field you're at, and you did that, and you achieved that greatness in order to beat out the competition so much that there's no conversation, and here she is having sex with a pool boy. What does that say? So morons are going to say it's because you can't satisfy a woman. It's not about that, really. It's because you have never satisfied a woman because you never knew what, what a woman really wanted in order to provide that for her. And the things that you used that kind of worked, well, you never analyze, well, what is it about these things that I'm offering her that she really enjoys? You think it's really the diamonds? The jewelry? Yes, yeah, you're at the surface. So you haven't really thoroughly analyzed this, the situation in order to understand what is the woman truly looking for and how, where do I get that, the power to provide that. So your average guy, is, sorry to say, is an idiot. They live at the surface, surface dwellers, normies, imbeciles. But that's not you. So you get, you're smart. Think, what's you really looking for? What's everybody looking for? So if you can provide that to, to a person, to a woman, how can she not love you? Like the love is so deep. Like if you know, if you, your average individual detests themselves. They feel without purpose. They feel they have no value. They feel useless and they feel ugly. No matter how pretty, no matter how quote unquote important they are, no matter, that's how they, see, because that's the truth. Because they've never actually discovered the value that the God put inside of them. All they have is external markers of success. And you may work very hard to achieve an external marker of success, but it's, it's still worth nothing. It, it has no value to you. It's not inherent to you. It's a hat you put on. And it's a hat somebody can put, take away from you. It's not you, if you understand what I mean. So what's everybody looking for? That value, that internal value, internal power. So as a man, if you're able to facilitate that for a woman, that means off, help her have an experience of herself where she sees how beautiful she is, how powerful she is, her, that she starts to taste her own value, her own amazingness. Well, that's a drug you can't replace with any other kind of drug. No jewelry can give you that. No fancy clothes can give you that. No amazing trip to God knows where is going to give you that. It's empty. That's something she lives now on the inside. And that's a gift now that you offer that very few people can, can, can offer. So it's, it's the equivalent of, I love this woman and I'm going to offer an amazing gift which symbolizes my love for her, which is, let's say, a pearl, pearl necklace, a real one. So not a lot of men can afford that. And those, pearl, those pearls have a value. And by transferring that value to her, she then for, feels that she has value to you. Yeah, but look, it's all external. And we all know men. Well, you, today, but tomorrow you'll be infatuated. Tomorrow. In five seconds on Instagram, you'll be infatuated with somebody else's ass. So what does that mean? What does that give her, really, besides pearls that may be worth something? Financially. Nothing. Inside, there's nothing. You could kind of stimulate a spark that's going to last for a couple of days, a couple of hours. When they're young, it lasts longer. When they're more experienced... You know, it's like you smoke weed every day. At some point, you you don't get high no more, right? So it's, it doesn't it doesn't work. But yeah, that's what I'm what I keep repeating on this channel. It's like what you what you're offering is not what she wants or what she's looking for. Now she may not know what she what she's looking for, but it's you who has to know that. And then you have to be able to provide that. And that is a rare thing in this world. And not only that, it's irreplaceable. Now, if you're able to provide that and you have everything around, which means you're, you, you take care of yourself, you're, 
you're, you have abundance, you have, you have, you're part of a network, you're just not a loser floating around. If you were floating around, you wouldn't be able to open up anyways. But you have, your, your things are, you are, are working for yourself. And no matter what level of the social rung you, you are, you're established. You're mature. You understand the nature of the game. You know how to move and, and navigate through it suavely. You know what I mean? Well, that experience that you're offering that woman, it's rare. It's so rare. Very few people know what I'm even talking about. So that's awesome. And that's irreplaceable. And if you continue to grow now as a man, then that experience, you can help her have a deeper experience of herself. She has to open to this, of course. But now I'm talking just from the man's side. You, so, so always more. So it's like more pearls, more jewelry, but inner ones. You're allowing her to discover her inner gems. It changes her. It changes her brain. It changes her constitution. It changes how she sees the world. She transforms because she's... The modern world gives all value to the, the things outside. We've been conditioned like animals to be like this. But when she starts to discover she has these inner jewels, her perception of the world outside starts to shift and something about her starts to lose interest. Beauty is beauty, a nice dress, a nice shirt. Yeah, that's fine. But no, it's the attachment to it, the obsession with it. It starts to wane because it's like, well, is that really so important? That doesn't give me anything. And then a woman's inner simplicity starts to awaken. And there's nothing more beautiful than simplicity in a woman, in my opinion. Right? The more, oh my God, like, it's just a mess. Everything's complicated. No, simplicity is awesome. Simplicity is one of the attributes of the goddess. It's simple, like nature. So her inner simplicity starts to arise and it becomes easier and more fluid and more pleasant. It's just a person. Versus everything is complicated and the heels and the bags and can't touch my face this and every, every, uh, it's like oh just, oh my god it's a, and, uh, uh, just go away it's just it's just a problem then instead of being a source of problems she becomes a source of joy and uh, pleasantry not in the sense of jokes but pleasantness it's pleasant it's pleasant pleasant experience and and there's a dance but it's a it's like guys amongst themselves when they like each other but with a girl. There's a lightness to it, not shallow, lightness. We do say enlightenment, maybe it's about being light. 